So the morning after the night before, uh, Wolves' 1-0 win over Yeovil in the Carabao Cup last night. Edge past the League 2 side, thanks to Numa Dicko's goal, 14 minutes from time. Uh, plenty of reaction on the Expression Style website today. Player ratings, five talking points. You can hear from Nuno as well, um, who again wasn't that, wasn't that enamoured with the performance really. He feels that there's plenty more improvements to come from Wolves. Starting, he'll hope, at, in performance-wise, certainly at least, at Derby on Saturday, where Ivan Cavallero is due to return. He's been suspended for Wolves' first two games this season. Uh, injury news, we're not expecting anyone else to, to return just yet. Courtney Hawes is still sidelined, obviously Costa and Marshall still out as well. A uh, we haven't seen him since he signed in the summer, uh, he's still out. So not really expecting anyone to come back uh, from injury at the moment. A couple of players who are out on loan, who, who featured last night in the League Cup. Uh, Niall Ennis got his professional debut for Shrewsbury uh, in their 2-1 defeat away at Forest. And Duckins Nazon, who got an assist on his debut for Coventry on Saturday, uh, he got a goal last night for Coventry they, they, in their defeat. He's on loan there till January. Um, so, yeah, uh, due to speak to Nuno later in the week on Friday for his press conference ahead of that derby game for which tickets are now all sold out. Uh, on transfer front, it's pretty quiet at the moment, but um, expecting some movement on the striker front, certainly in the next couple of weeks. Sam Gallagher, Wolves are still chasing a loan for him, the Southampton striker. Uh, Joe Mason, he didn't feature last night and didn't feature on Saturday. He's not been in the squad for either Wolves. He's opening two games, expecting him to move on. Uh, I believe Wolves are, hope, are hoping for a permanent deal rather than a loan for Mason um, as they look to move on before the end of the transfer window.